Hello guys, welcome back for another question from inverse trigonometric functions. So the question is on the screen. I think this is a proving question. So let's uh, have a look at the question. Uh, we are given an expression. The expression on the left side is uh, 9 pi upon 8 minus 9 by 4 sin inverse 1 by 3. And on the right hand side, we have 9 by 4 sin inverse 2 root 3, 2 root 2 by 3. So we have to prove that LHS is equal to RHS. That's what proving question says. Generally proving questions are easy as we already know the answer on the right hand side. So we just have to manipulate left hand side terms in such a way that we can somehow reach the right hand side. So let's begin. Okay. What we do? Our first step is that on the left hand side, we take 9 upon 4 as common from both the terms. And uh, doing the same, uh, we get something like this. Uh, when we take 9 by 4 common from the first term, we get pi by 2 here. And then the next term, I mean this term, we get only sine inverse 1 by 3. Now you can see that we have something like pi upon 2 minus sine inverse 1 by 3. I hope this must have triggered an idea in your mind. That is sine inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2. We can simplify this term and write it is uh, write it as one term with the help of the identity that is sin inverse x plus cos inverse x is equal to pi by 2 let's move to the next step yes the step i told you uh, it's written over here this thing so we write a uh, pi by 2 minus sin inverse 1 by 3 as cos inverse 1 by 3 okay now we can see that we have reached the half part of our proving. That means we already have 9 by 4 here and 9 by 4 here. We just have to convert cos inverse to sin inverse. So how do we do that? Uh, I think we have two ways. Uh, the first way is that we can form a triangle and we can write cos inverse as 1 uh, by 3. By the Pythagoras theorem, this side becomes 9 minus one, that is root 8 so the same thing becomes this cos inverse becomes sin inverse of root 8 root 8 is 2 root 2 2 root 2 divided by 3 you can either follow this way or another way as given in the presentation so what's the other way let's look at uh, the other way what we do first, we first write cos inverse 1 by 3 is equal to y and then we apply cos on the both sides. I mean, we get cos of 1 by 3 as uh, cos of y is equal to 1 by 3. Sorry for the mistake. We get cos of y is equal to 1 by 3. Let's move to the next slide. Uh, give me a sec. Yes, we get cos y is equal to 1 by 3, which implies that sin y is equal to root of 1 minus 1 by 3 square this came from the identity that is sin inverse uh, sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1 uh, i'll write it for you uh, we get this thing from sin square x plus cos square x uh, is equal to 1 uh, ignore my handwriting it's too bad i know okay so we get uh, uh, this identity that is sin square x plus cos square x is equal to 1. So we write cos y is equal to under root of 1 minus sin square x. And thus we get something like sin y is equal to 2 root 2 by 3. Applying sin inverse on both sides, we get our y as sin inverse 2 root 2 upon 3. And what we do now? We just replace the value of y with sin inverse 2 root, uh, 2 root 2 by 3 and our final answer comes as 9 upon 4 sin inverse 2 root 2 by 3 hence we proved that LHS is equal to RHS and our proving is done thank you I hope you all got it thank you